Alright, well, here's the light bar as I had earlier. A couple guys want to know how I had it wired in. Um, those draw a lot. They're 3 watts per LED. There are 72 LEDs in each bar. So that is 216 total watts. Uh, so, yeah, you got, when you got two of them up there, front and back, you're way over 400 watts, so I wanted to run the separate switch for both from separate circuit, which I did. It's an 18 amp draw. If you divide 216 by 12. So, I didn't know quite, I wanted to put a power strip. <laughs> Uh, the aftermarket cable I bought. That's my light. About 10 feet of that. And I just couldn't find anywhere I felt comfortable putting the my uh, power strip up by the tractor because it's just so busy up under the dash and all that. So let's take a seat here. Let's see what I got. So this mounted pretty good. The two holes I just zipped it to the that's the that's just solid. That's the same size as this going to the starter. And then it lights up if you have a Blown fuse at 1 through 10. Saw so waterproof that, but then the. So here's my two. So now, anything, anytime I want to do a, another accessory or if I want to do anything, I just got to run a wire up to here. So it just snaps on. I'm not going to put it on all the way because I'm not done there yet. And then I just got some two wire. Um, that's 10 gauge. It's got the nice heavy. I just ran it right along. You can see with the, their round necks. And took it down and under. There's tons of room under there, so. Well, there's my hooks up put on last night. But yeah, then you know that's. That's down out of the way. I was going to put a circuit breaker in and I didn't. I thought to kill the power, but hell, right there, easy access. I just, um, with the hood closed, it fits in there nice. And I just ended up coming up, ran under here, and brought it. And um, down underneath, I've got two more inline fuses. I should have just done away with them, but. Under the seat here. There's tons of room there. It's kind of a cluster, but um, I took this seat right here. Took that bolt out on the seat, and that's where I put my relay. And then down here, you can see that bolt there. Uh, that's an open threaded and I had to ha happen to have a metric uh, screw I had to cut and just grind a little and that's where I put the other relay for the other switch and the grounds under the seat there and then just in a, in and up along the routes and, um, I don't know there's no good way to I've left these loose yet but if you run it on this side it's going to stretch when you lower it. So I just, just a little flex in here. And then, uh, yeah, up. And what are we looking at? I got a zip tie that up yet, but they run each one separate. And uh, the one I got two wires, there's an extra set of wires up here 